Hello, it is the designer of LegendaryReviews.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to use Cyberlink PowerDirector. Alright, now first I will use my intro and my ending video just as an example. Now, um, just to let you guys know, this program does take up um, a lot of RAM and processor power just to run by itself. So I'd re recommend having um, a good computer to use this program. If you have an old slow one, um, I wouldn't even bother putting this on it. It would run terrible. Um, one feature that this program has is um, 1080p and 720p. Unlike Camtasia, it lets you do 1080p, which is really cool. As you can see, these are all the the effects. I mean, not the effects, the transitions, really. I'll show you guys effects um, soon. There's a ton of um, transitions. Uh, I love some of them. Let me use this one. All you do is just grab it, drag it, put it right between the two videos you want it to be. And it will actually let you preview it. Lags a little though because the recording. But that's okay. Alright, now, um, let's say you want to add a watermark to your video. That's, um, pretty easy to do with this program. All you do is click on Create New PIP Object from an Image. Select the image you want. I'll use our video watermark. Let it load it. Pick where you want it to be in the screen. This is where we put ours. You want to make it transparent. I always make it 50% transparent. You got to name it. And all you do is right click on it. Add and replace in timeline. You go down here, you can make it take the whole video, and there you go, you have a watermark on your video. Now I would like to show you guys some of the effects that you could do with your videos. Just like the transitions, it has like a million effects, which is what I love about this program. So many things you can do in this program, it's ridiculous. Which is why I love it, because every time you do a video, you can do something different. So, um, let me show you. One of the effects, um, with my intro. Alright, you guys know what my intro looks like. Now, this is what it looks like with the effects. This isn't a, a fancy, you know, effect, but, you know, as you can see, there's a lot of cooler ones. You can add more than one effect to the same video, which is pretty cool. See, now I have that. And this new one. That's pretty cool. Now I'm going to show you guys how to render this video in 1080p or 720p. Alright, well, um, when you first go into rendering, you see all these formats. Um, basically, I only use MPEG-2. <clears throat> and the reason for that is because when I try using any of the other ones, it doesn't let me do widescreen on YouTube, and it'll come out small. So MPEG-2 lets you do 720p, 
and 1080p and you'll have the widescreen on YouTube. Uh, all you do is go right here, there's 720p or 1080i, which is 1080p. And then um, you just render it right there. Right here, you get to choose where you want to render it. And um, that's about it. You can also upload it straight to YouTube, which that it only lets you do 720p. Same thing for Facebook. It doesn't let you do 1080p when you upload it directly. So I would just do it this way, then upload it to YouTube. That's about it. Don't forget to go to legendaryreviews.com for game reviews, cheats, reviews, downloads, and so much more.